Hey guys, this is Eddie. Haven't done a Visual Basic tutorial in a while. Thought I'd start doing it again. And the first thing I'm going to do is a tutorial on how to move an object in a square pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the object in Paint. So as you can see, I have Microsoft Paint open in Windows 7. And the first thing I'm going to do is draw a circle, just a small uh, or whatever size you want, a circle. Uh, make it in the center of your image and then uh, draw a few so draw a few uh, black lines on your circle. So as you can probably tell, I'm not really an artist, so try not to judge if I'm doing this wrong. So basically, I'm going to draw a black line that is a curve and just curve it slightly. Um, another one. So this is sort of like a basketball sort of thing. Uh, horizontal line. Oops. Horizontal curve. Yep, that'll do. So just a quick basketball and I'm going to file save as. going to put it on my desktop and I'm going to make it a picture, a JPEG file. And I'm just going to call it ball.jpg. Actually, you're going to save it as a GIF, same thing. Save it on my desktop. Okay, so now let's go back to Visual Basic. Let's open up a new project. So uh, open a new project and just call it whatever you like. Moving ball in square. That's the name of my program. Sounds like a pretty po pretty cool program. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag a picture box into my program. So drag it on and I'm going to select the picture that I've made up previously. So go into image on the properties panel and choose import. And go to the desktop to find the picture. So go to the desktop, find your ball, import it. Okay, now you can see that um, there's a bit of a problem because the picture is too big. So I'm going to go to the size mode property in the properties panel and I'm going to go to stretch image. Okay, that way no matter how I s resize my picture box, the ball will be the same as the picture box. Okay, so I'm going to run the program now. And when I run the program, you can see that I just have a ball and it doesn't do anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is a bit of code. So firstly, let's rename the picture box. Let's rename it, rename it so the picture box, the name of it, so the name of the picture box, instead of calling it picture box dot, picture box one, I'm just going to call it ball. Okay, and then I'm going to make a timer. Okay, so grab a timer onto the screen and where is it where is it where is it timer it's inside the components section grab it onto the screen and basically this timer uh, represents what we're going to do every um, time interval and you can set the time interval so let's make it every 
50 milliseconds we're going to do something okay and we're gonna make it um, so we're gonna double click on it double click on timer one so you can see that it automatically generates an event handler for the timer one dot tick event so every time it ticks we're gonna do something and let's just do a very simple moving the ball ball dot left let's move it by one unit okay so if you run the program now nothing's gonna happen because you want to enable the timer so double click on the background and make sure timer one is enabled at the beginning of your program so if you want put this at the actually it doesn't make a difference so if you run this now you can see that my ball is moving to the right which is pretty cool okay so now what I want to do is move the ball to the top left and then in the coding what I'm gonna do is at the top underneath public class form 1 I'm going to declare a variable called in increment x as an integer and it's originally going to be uh, whatever you want okay just put it as zero at the beginning as one at the beginning and then I'm going to increase the position of the ball by increment x okay so if you start the program now it should still work so it's working so that's good um, so make sure you run the program every few minutes just to make sure that it's working and the next thing I want to do is create a variable called direction and again it's integer okay and you can make it zero at the beginning if you want okay so basically what the direction variable does is when the direction is a certain number I will move the ball in a certain direction so let's do the first direction is move to the left so if the direction is equal to zero then I move it to the right okay so that's what direction is zero that direction zero means now let's do it so that if the direction is equal to one I move to the left so if the direction is equal to one I move to the left so I go minus equals increment X okay and right now if you run this program it will still be moving to the right because we've set the direction variable equal to zero All right but if you set this number to one what's gonna happen is it's gonna start by moving to the left as you can see here is moving to the left got run the program again so you can see it's moving to the left okay so um, let's do the other two directions um, so if zero it's moving to the right one it's moving to the left so we got up and down to take care of so let's do uh, boom increase y as integer equals one okay so if direction is equal to one actually what I want to do is move it upwards so I'm going to minus equal in increment y so what's gonna happen is it's gonna move up if the direction is one and then I'm gonna copy and paste this okay so zero is moving to the right one is moving up two is moving to the left so ball dot left uh, minus equals increment x and then direction dot three 
is moving down. So I'm going to plus equal y, plus equal increment y. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to move the ball according to the direction variable. If it's zero, we're moving it to the right. It's, if it's one, moving it up. If it's two, moving to the left. If it's three, moving it down. So if you play, if you run the program, right now it's moving it up because um, the direction variable is one, so I'm moving it up right now. So let's try two and see what happens. Let's move the ball to the middle. So if it's two, it's moving to the left. And if it's three, it should move down. See, it's moving down. Okay, so this is all working, which is great. So now what I want to do is just to make sure that the direction variable changes every few seconds. Okay, so I'm going to create another variable called count. And it's going to start on zero. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is every time it ticks, I'm going to increase the count by one. And then what it's going to do is um, let's say every let's say 20 ticks so I'm gonna go if count mod 20 equals 0 then All right so what this code does is basically um, it divides the count variable by 20 and if the remainder of that is zero so the remainder not the answer the remainder of whatever the count variable is divided by 20 if the remainder is equal to zero then we'll run this code which means this code is only going to run whatever code that I type right now it's only going to run every 20 ticks okay so every 20 ticks I'm going to change the direction variable I'm going to add one to it. Okay, but what if the direction variable is three already and we add one? Then it becomes four. So I'm going to say if the direction variable is equal to four, then I'm going to make it equal to zero. Okay, so then um, it goes back to being zero. So let's try this. So let's run the program. You can see here it starts moving down, right, up, left. Okay, so now it's moving in a square fashion. Okay, so if you want to move it, move the square, uh, make it a bigger square, you can make this number 40. So if you run that program, you can see here it's moving in a bigger square. Okay, and if you want to make it move a bit faster, you can change the increment x so that it's 2 or 3. And if you try that now, it's moving a bit faster. Okay, in a square fashion. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.